Canada has said it will allow the U.S. extradition case against Huawei's chief executive to move forward, but the court must make a final decision. The U.S. wants Meng Wanzhou, Huawei chief financial officer, to stand trial on charges including fraud linked to the alleged violation of sanctions on Iran. Ems Meng was arrested in Canada in December at the behest of the U.S. China's embassy in Ottawa said it was utterly dissatisfied with the decision. They dubbed Ems Meng's arrest political persecution and called for her release. The high-profile detention has soured relations between China, the U.S. and Canada. U.S. authorities filed almost two dozen charges against Huawei, the world's second-largest smartphone maker and Ems Meng in January, along with a formal request for her extradition. The charges include bank fraud, obstruction of justice and theft of technology. Poor I and Ems Meng have both denied all the allegations. Canada's Justice Department had until Friday to decide whether or not the extradition case will proceed in Canadian courts. That decision is based on whether the request complied with the requirements of the US-Canada extradition treaty, and could not be refused if so. An extradition hearing is not a trial nor does it render a verdict of guilt or innocence, the Justice Department said in a statement on Friday announcing it was authorizing the extradition process in the case of Ems Meng to proceed. If a person is ultimately extradited from Canada to face prosecution in another country, the individual will have a trial in that country.